What is going on, guys? I'm going to show you guys some of uh, older coins that I got in the last week or so. One good coin. I got a bunch of quarters, a bunch of dimes, all silver. But uh, I got this as change back from the gr or, uh, gas station. 1979p really clean too bad it didn't have the blob on it or the wide rim it'd be a pretty valuable coin but still not bad but uh bunch of the mercury dimes and uh there's a couple in there that I got pulled out that are uh, some S mint marks. I ain't got my camera on a tripod or nothing right now because I'm in the, actually in the middle of uh, watching uh, Rob Finds Treasure. Their live stream right now but uh anyways what i was going to show you guys the other things is uh these ones right here see if i can get a good shot all right 1916 it's pretty smooth but uh still not bad The back is completely smooth. Would have loved to seen this thing be a D. But, either way, that's my first 1916 I found. The next one, which is just a 1920, it's a. Uh, not much better, but a little bit better shape. Still a nice coin. So we'll move them out of the way. Then we got a nice... It's a 1917, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're going to go with 1917 on that one. Then you got to get old 1919. It's getting pretty rough itself. We'll roll that over and check it out. Looked like somebody was trying to punch a hole in the center of it. Maybe it was uh, making a coin ring or something. That's my guess. Or maybe they're just punching a hole in it. But uh, another one of the good ones I like is right here. says 1897 no it ain't in good shape but that's my first uh 1800s coin bought all these at a local pawn shop i mean it's a nice uh nice barber dime for me i guess i'm sure there's a lot nicer ones out there but it's my first one i ever found so, for 1800 year uh, coin, it's not too bad in my standards. But, uh, anyways, I got a bunch of uh, other Mercury Dimes. Not too bad. But, soon, I'll be going through... All these other dimes. There's a lot of uh, silver dimes and a pile of silver quarters. There's uh, some real, real, real nice.
quarters in here. I mean, just by the rims, like that one right there. That one's going. That them. That one right there is a real nice coin. Then there's a. I think it's an SLQ right there. Yeah, that's the one they got. They only got one of them in there. But uh, I'm gonna do a separate video of all these uh other coins I got. In a separate time. But uh I'm gonna show you a couple uh coin rings that I made too from the actual silver quarters. This one ain't silver, but it's two thousand and nine. Real nice ring. Here's one of the smallest ones I made out of a quarter. I still need to shine this one up. You can see some of the polish and stuff still inside. But that's only a, a little, little five. I mean, turn that in a quarter into a, a five ring is pretty good. Then you get some of the darker ones that I uh, stuck in acid. Then here's three more that are pretty good. Nice Colorado one. But here's my first silver one I did. These are a little more tricky. 1958. nice coin but uh anyways that's a video on a bunch of uh coins i got last week and some of the rings i made we'll be going through a separate video with all them that's probably going to be my next video that i post on um, i'll probably do The quarters one time and maybe the dimes the next video just so I can break it up so we ain't just bouncing around because there's going to be a lot of dimes and I'm kind of new to the searching like the coin thing so I can just buy silver and stack the silver away. That's basically what I've been doing but ever since I started watching uh, Rob Finds Treasure and uh Watching JD's variety channel and that stuff they kind of got me looking at the coins a little closer so uh, in the next Couple videos upcoming. Here's going to be quarters searching the quarter bag. We'll be searching uh, the dime bag and uh, Hopefully some more silver whenever I get around to it I'll be stopping at the store to pick some more up probably this Friday so uh Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll continue watching uh, Rob search for uh, some silver. And uh, like and subscribe. In the next video, I'll make sure I put it on the tripod. The only reason it's not is because I'm in the living room, and uh, Rob's on the TV. So, have a good one, guys.